All right, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, today we have another arcade PCB from Ken6275. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, it says Cabal and Graphics Issues. And it has seen a little bit of much better days here. <laughs> you can notice off the bat, too, it looks like some solder is missing in some places. And uh, overall condition is quite grungy. But let's go ahead and plug this guy in and check some of that. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, well, it pops up. This is good. Uh, I don't know if this is normal or not. Let's see. Maybe it, is there anything? Let's see. I can hear credits. This is good. Press start. Looks okay. I don't know what... Oh, I get it. There's no, there's no graphics. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I was like looking at the background, thinking, "What's wrong?" There's absolutely nothing. Uh, you can see a small flicker in the background there. It's pretty crazy. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's about all you can see on this thing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Does it change? Like touching anything? No. Nope. Wow. Okay. <laughs> just this uh, small thing in the background just kind of moving around there. Well, I guess we're going to have to disassemble this. This just doesn't look so great. Uh, maybe we can go ahead and go over these parts here. This doesn't look the, the best, but <laughs> it's just hilarious. Just see whatever's going on back there. <laughs> So let's go ahead and strip this thing down, I guess, a little bit and see what's going on. Um, it does have some of these custom chips on the end there and uh, a lot of these ribbon cables. So I'll go ahead and tear it down and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so let's start taking this thing apart here. We've got our ribbon cables on the side and there's another one on this side. And we've got these tabs here. Normally, uh, these tabs on the side, on the ends, actually I should take off the JAMA harness. Uh, you can see these tabs here uh, on the ends. You can just kind of pinch these together with a pair of needle nose pliers and they should pop up off the board there. There's one on this side as well. You can get a better look at what's underneath this guy. All right. Wow, there are so many subboards on this. It's pretty ridiculous, but you can see the uh, amount of dirt and whatnot that's been on this board over the years. <laughs> Definitely been kind of stored for a while. And these kind of custom chips here, I think these may be for inputs. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, look very similar to the inputs for the Cebu um, boards. Uh, Here's the bottom of this one here. Overall, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, ah, that looks a little crusty over there. Hmm. Doesn't look too great. It doesn't seem like it's such a huge problem um, with the graphics just not being there. Like, it's a seating problem or a connection. You can see some of the graphics in the background there. This one looks okay. This side, on the other hand, looks a little bit iffy. So I might go back over that. Actually, let's do that. I think this may be one of those things too. With the old solder and things like that, that are on these boards, it's a good thing to remove it, especially if there's a lot of flux around it, remove it and then put down some fresh stuff. So I'll go ahead and Add some fresh solder here. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this clearly or not, but I'm just going to get rid of some of this on the end here. It just looks a bit corroded for me. And see if I can find my solder sucking tool, wherever that might be. There we go. Okay. It's a bit better. Looks a little bit nicer. We'll go over that with uh, a bit of some alcohol and some rubbing alcohol <laughs> and see if we can scrub this up a little bit just using a regular toothbrush 
And I should get one of these dispensers, but I'm just going to dab on some rubbing alcohol here. Go along the edge. I think I'm probably going to need some more here in a little bit. Um, maybe some towels or so, but just to show you guys that uh, those are all pretty much nicely tinned up there. A lot better than before. So let's uh, let's go ahead and move on. And once again, oh, there are a couple of scratches over here, but those don't look too bad. You know, just go for the obvious kind of injuries to the board here. See what you can find before you move on. This top top PCB, like I said, once again, there's a couple of pins here that look like they're in need of that. So we're going to go and do the same thing. Remove the old solder here and add some new stuff. Actually, I need some. Where's my flux? Flux! Where are you? Hopefully you guys are enjoying some of these videos. I mean, keep in mind, everybody's got their own way how to do it. And some people say, oh, don't do that, don't do this, you know, when it comes to like, uh, you know, resoldering or desoldering and things like that. I suppose, uh, you know, if you have flux and um, you clean off the board as much as you can afterward, I think you're A-OK. -okay. Whichever other way you want to solder, that's perfectly fine, up to you. Desoldering too, like I said, whatever way works for you best. And the main reason why I'm doing this is just because, you know, I can tell that this solder is quite old and um, once again in the past I've had issues with uh, old solder just not making a good enough connection and that by itself can change the problem and make it better. So. so. Sometimes I can get, you know, two or three at a time here. We're not completely desoldering this. We're just going to try to get the old stuff off and the new stuff on. After you do it a hundred million times, it, it's not so tricky. The other thing to check too is the ribbon cables because those have a tendency to uh, flex too much or get damaged over time. But yeah, you guys can kind of get the idea here of what I'm doing. Um, definitely going to have to go over all of these just a bit more before we solder them in, but I'll get on that and then we'll come back and do some checking here. All right, see you guys in a bit. So another small thing that I notice here is uh, on the JAMA connector, you can notice there's just kind of a big blob of solder. So let's go ahead and remove that. Once again, kind of a, this one's a little bit of an easy trick that you can do. Not really a trick, I guess, but we're just gonna apply some flux there. We are going to grab our soldering wick or desoldering wick, desoldering braid. And what I do too is I like to put a bit of flux on the desoldering braid. That way it'll just really absorb into that. And we are gonna get rid of this in three, two, one. And basically gone. Get rid of the one next to it as well. That looks pretty good. I don't know why that was there unless there's a uh, bridge or maybe there's a, a bad connection or something. But this one we might be able to get away with with just a bit of some... Let's try some tissue and... So I'm rubbing alcohol, Let's see how that works. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks pretty snazzy, not too bad. So that's one more thing here to uh, clean up, and we'll go ahead with the, uh, the, what is it, the clips, put this back together and give it a shot, check it out. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got the top clipped back on. I've gone over all these pins, and uh, they are okay. Maybe a little bit of extra flux there. And I've cleaned up the edge of the uh, JAMA connector, and I don't know, I mean, it's not super, yeah, not a whole lot of work here, but maybe it'll change something. You never know. Like I said, just trying the simple stuff first sometimes will work out. But we'll flip the light off here, see what we get. Ah, uh, kind of. Okay, as you guys can see there. I think, maybe? Or uh, maybe I'm losing my mind? <laughs> it looks like there was something more. Maybe no? Looked like maybe the wings were on there. Oh yeah, you guys can see. There's a little bit more going on here. So we're getting there. Still a bit odd. Maybe this is RAM related? Let's see. Wow. Oh, did this just pop up? Was that there before? What is going on? I can see a few things kind of happening here. Let's see. Alright, well I might have to go ahead and mess around with this. It looks like some things are trying to move. Maybe if I flex the board here? Doesn't really change a whole lot. I can kind of see some stuff going on here, guys, but... Uh, oh, wow, that's... okay. There we go, we're starting to get something now. Oh, look at that! Whoa, wait, where is it? It's, uh, it's on this connector. Is it the ribbon cable? Maybe it's the, maybe it's a bad ribbon cable, because you guys could see that it was actually coming in there for a second. Mmm. I don't know if I have any other ribbon cables around. Well, there it is again. Can I get it to stay? I think there's something wrong with this ribbon cable. Let's do this. Let's turn this off here. Yeah, we are getting close with this one. I knew something was up with the, uh, usually there's something up with these ribbon cables, but let's see if we move this one. I mean, maybe it has a short in it somewhere. What if we flip this? Sometimes by bending the ribbon cables here, like this, like changing the shape, you can actually get something different, um, like a different outcome with it. Let's try and re-bend re it into a strange, another shape here. Let's see. I suppose the other important point is making sure that you get this correct. Which way was it? No! I can't remember. I think this was the bottom one. And this may be the top one. Let's see if that does anything. That's in there. Let's give this a shot. Does it do anything different? Maybe it's the same, same as before. There is definitely something going on though with this ribbon cable, and I don't know where the... Oh, can you guys see that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm kind of pinching it down on the inside here. I've got my hand kind of held, and that is where the graphics are coming back. If I kind of pinch it in the right spot, is there, 
What about this one? Oh, this one does the same thing too. Is this one also bad? Maybe this thing has just two bad... connectors. I think I'm gonna have to check and see if I have anything. I don't think I do, but yeah. There's definitely something with this connector. So I'm gonna get on that and see if I can find a couple other connectors. Maybe we can get this thing. Oh geez, that's getting close. Really close. See if I can find anything that'll work. Maybe even switching? Let's try this. Um, Sometimes, if one side has a problem, we can swap it out on the other side. And it may have a different point that works. Sometimes it doesn't work, um, like if this is the main point. So let's take this ribbon cable and we'll switch with this one. This is definitely going to let us know if... Something is up with this thing or not. Okay, there's that one. And... This one in there. But we're getting there, guys. You know, once again, well, This thing kind of falls down. Get this one clipped in. And one more time. And if it does change for the better or for the worse, we know that we've got ribbon cable issues here. So let's give it a shot. Yes, oh my gosh, look at that guys. What? What? Is it still missing graphics though? It looks like maybe it's missing. It's missing some graphics there. I can't tell. <laughs> Check that out though. That is a hundred times better. But, I mean, it still looks like maybe it is. I mean, I don't know the exact... This thing, that looks pretty decent. I mean, for the most part. But, yeah, the skull is all back. That's, I mean, look at that. That's like 110% improvement there. I wonder if we can just get away with it, like, the way it is right now. I don't know. It might be okay. I need to go back and check MAME and see how it looks, but... Oh shoot, yeah, this thing needs the... Ugh, this thing needs a trackball, doesn't it? You can't use the regular controller on it. But it seems to be working, guys! And the sound is working too. I don't know, I mean, I might call this one... a fix? Although it does need some new ribbon cables. If I can't find those ribbon cables, um... Might be out of luck, but they seem to be, I mean, pressing this doesn't seem to be changing that, which is good. And this side doesn't either. I mean, sometimes, um, oh, well, I spoke too soon. Yeah, it is definitely this cable. It's the one off of that side that was bad. I don't think there's any other other ones here. It looks like a temporary fix, guys, but it is working. Um, it is back alive here, so I think we can kind of call this one a somewhat successful fix as well. Definitely going to need a new cable here for uh, this side, but it's alive. Awesome. But uh, yeah, here we go. We're uh, two for two right now. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good start. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this one because I need to make a new sticker for it. That says it works, but it has a bad cable over there. And at least by doing some of this other stuff, preventative stuff, that's uh, A plus as well. But yeah, guys, that is about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. Watching some Cabal repair here. Woohoo! Let's make sure it's not a fluke. And turn it back on again. Yeah, that's, that's looking nice. Much, much better.
And I think, like I said, the first time the wings were there, uh, the wings weren't there, but then the wings uh, came back. Maybe that's what this should look like here. But once again, like I said, I haven't seen this game in a long, long time. So I'm guessing it, it looks pretty good for right now. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get some more uh, arcade repair vids up and see you guys again here soon.